Here's Randy Bullock now to put toe to leather. And we are underway from AT&T Stadium. This will be fielded inside the five. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. going to start with Pollard. Oh, he's got some breathing room. Touchdown, Cowboys! Let's make no bones about it. On paper, they're the better team. They're at home. That's a strong opening run. And just think how many times we've seen this type of a matchup. Just what you said. Better team at home should steamroll them. And we've seen it go the other way. Sometimes, though, they buy into it and understand we are the better team. Let's go out and prove it right now. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. Here's Trenton Cannon on the return from his end zone. And they'll be backed up a bit to start as he's out of bounds at the 16. First and 10 now, Willis and the Titans at their own 16. Play action, here's Willis. He's got a man complete. The 30, 10, and it's a Titans touchdown. Chigakakwo, 84 yards. And the Titans are able to strike back quickly with an opening touchdown of their own. Well, Charles, kind of the future of this franchise on display right there. You had a rookie throwing it, a rookie catching it, and taking it into the end zone. On, Could you imagine on. if we were in the owner's box right now and we could look at the front office and see the grins on their faces to see the present making plays and knowing what the future And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Malik Hooker. A big seam, and he might go all the way. He's at the 30. And he takes it all the way back. It's a pick two, if you will, as that play backfires in a big way. Now Bullock will send this one away after the touchdown. This will be fielded inside the five. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that. They go back to Pollard on second down. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. 88 yards rushing for him now as he has gotten the night off to a hot start. And they're making a real first quarter statement with a run game, no doubt. For those who remember old school football, running it, establishing things, seeing backs find holes, get through them, they've got to like what they're seeing from this unit so far. Right now, they've decided to say, as you said, touchdown, Cowboys! So the point's coming fast and furious in this opening quarter. Whoa. Yeah, both defenses, they're looking pretty exploited right now with the way these offenses are attacking. They are a step behind, back on their heels, whatever cliche you want to use. Right now, they're trying to figure out how to slow them down, and I'm not sure they're going to be able to. Mar on for the extra point. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. Thanks. 
Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. And he will not bring it out. He'll just go down to a knee here for a touchback. And the ball will come out to the 25. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And CD, you know, sometimes you don't need those complicated game plans or the added wrinkles. Uh, last time. Oh, that's into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Trayvon Diggs. And the Cowboys are going to take possession of the football. They brought the house that time on the young rookie, maybe a little rattled through the pick. And you have to be prepared for a lot of pressure as a rookie quarterback because most defensive coordinators are going to test you that way. So when you see the... And hit behind the line. He lost the football. It's loose. But I believe a Cowboy was there to get it. He was. And Dallas will maintain possession. The fumble on first down. Now here's second down. Now a shotgun handoff to Pollard. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Tony Pollard with his second touchdown in this opening quarter. And the Cowboys are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Boy, still in the first quarter, and look out. I mean, they are on pace for over 80 points in this game. I don't know that they'll get there, CD, but this has been impressive to watch so far. That certainly would be history in the making, wouldn't it, partner? I'm glad we're here to actually watch and see if it actually happens, although, like you, I have my doubts, but they are firmly in control of this game. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. Cannon now elects to bring this out. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Willis with it on third and one. Open man is Burks, and he's got him. And he will have a Titans first down, and comfortably so, as he gets five there on third and a yard. Again, Willis to throw. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. So two first downs, and that moves the ball to the 42 now, first and 10. They go play action with Willis. And brought in downfield by Burks. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 41. On first down, Willis. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. So it looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were hitting for the red zone. But this defense gets two more stops. They can keep them out of that area. To throw on second and 10, Willis. He dumps it off for Henry. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 30. Now a timeout called for by the offense. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Across the formation, Burks has it. And all the way to the two-yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. A very solid gain of 27. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. Hey. 
First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Right back to the air with Willis. That's to Burks, and he's got it. Touchdown, Tennessee. Two yards on the touchdown there, and the Titans are able to cut into that deficit. Willis will try and throw for this. Steps away to his left. And he's going to get in for the two points. And that'll make this a ten-point game. And with a successful two-point try, the QB rolling out, I would imagine, on the defense, that makes it tough. When you, he goes out, he's got the option to run or pass. Yeah, it really does. If you decide not to bring extra people or extra pressure, maybe you have to have a spy on the quarterback, someone to account for him, because oftentimes, that is the unaccounted for play. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. Touchdown, Cowboys. It's a kickoff return of 94 yards. And his guy's now an extra point away from taking a three-score lead. Extra point by Moore, up and good. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. So let's try this again. After the kick return TD, here's yet another kickoff. Cannon now elects to bring this out. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. Right now, Charles, it just feels like they're trying to keep pace. They did score the touchdown last time out, but they still trail by double digits here. We'll see if this offense is once again up to the task. Yeah, and I think that after the last drive, they've gotten pretty revved up, don't you think? Everything they were doing was working pretty well. They go back out there with the same mindset, but the same tempo and the same pace. Still a lot of time left to make something happen in this one. There's a ball thrown right side and complete. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Now Willis on first and 10. Looking for Woods again, and he finds him. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 down at the 33. Willis looking to throw on first down. They're unable to connect, but a late flag comes in. And the contact may have come too early. So they saw the contact before the ball arrived. Penalty flag for pass interference. And trying to avoid pass interference is so difficult. You're trying to slow down these skilled receivers, and somehow, some way, they make plays on the football. And sometimes you're there too soon. And he is out of bounds, but first he gets it inside the 10 to the 7. A good pick up there, 21 yards. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Willis looking to throw it. Touchdown! Robert Woods, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Titans are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. Now Mike Vrabel going to tell the offense to go for two here. Willis to try and throw for it. Buying time to his left. I don't know about you, but I can't wait for a few years of two-point tries and see what the data tells us. Because a lot of teams want to throw the ball in this situation, this time unsuccessfully. I just wonder if maybe running the ball might be the way to go. With it moved up from the three to the two, you would think maybe a few more attempts at running. I, I think stats over time may bear out that running the ball will at least be the equal of throwing it in that situation. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. Right now, everything they touch turns to gold. This is their fourth possession. Touchdowns on their first three possessions. I mean, this defense, they can't seem to stop them. It's like they're on skates. Great analogy, Brandon, because they are pushing them back and winning everything at the line of scrimmage. They've just been laying down tracks towards the opposite end zone. So to themselves, all they're saying is, if we don't make a mistake, there's no way they can stop us. Prescott on first down. His throw incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. 
And he is not going to go anywhere. They're going to get to him behind the line, and that is going to get us to the two-minute warning. And not an easy spot here. They'll be in search of 13 yards to try to pick up the first. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Able to hit his target lamb. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. A big play there as they get the conversion on third and 13. With the kind of game he's had so far, he had to know that on third down, that they would be looking his way, and they did for big yardage and a first down. I think the defense fell asleep at the switch on that one. I would have doubled him, tripled him, anything to keep the ball out of his hands. A first down carry by Elliott. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. They've created a nice sustained drive off of plays like that. A nice strong run there that keeps them advancing the ball. Second and five now. Prescott. He'll fire deep downfield from Lamb. And that is incomplete. Well, it hasn't been a banner first half for the defense trying to cover him today, but they'll take that one right there, helping force that incompletion. Prescott now. And this pass broken up. Now the contact well timed there. And now fourth down. Fourth down, Prescott. Got an open man, it's Michael Gallup. And he is going to have the Cowboys first down as this defense cannot come up with a play that they need. In fact, they surrender a big chunk, 17 yards there on fourth down. From the red zone now, Prescott. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away, but the bottom line is that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. To throw once more on second and 10, Prescott toward the sideline, and look at that catch, dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. And again, it's Prescott. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. No gain on the screen there. It's second down. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down, two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back, halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Marr now to kick this one away. Cannon now elects to bring this out. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. This offense, Charles, had a strong first half throwing the football, at least in terms of yardage, but that hasn't translated so far in the scoreboard as they begin the third quarter here, trailing and looking for a little momentum. Yeah, you're right about that because, you know, let's face it, in the first half, most of their focus was in the passing game, and to their credit, resulted in a healthy amount of yardage. So I would think that at halftime, they're going to anticipate that defense loosening up a little bit to try to cover the passing lanes. They've got to get the running game going, and there should be some gaps to run through now. To throw again on second down. Willis. Pass complete. He's got Woods streaking across the field. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. 
And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here on this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops and escape this drive. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Opted to run for it. The decision a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. So from the 36 now, first and 10. First and 10, Willis. And right side, Henry's got it. And he'll get nothing out of that one. So he stopped for no gain. And will bring up second down. Willis now on play action. And he will go down. The Cowboys sack. Tough spot for Willis and the Titans. Now facing third and long following the sack. A play action fake. They'll look to throw. Well, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Trayvon Diggs. And the Cowboys are going to have it here at their own 15. So it was a drive that had real promise here to begin the third quarter, but ultimately derailed by the INT. And that was the position you wanted to be in, coming out to start this third quarter, get a nice drive going, looking for the end zone. Possibly got a little bit too greedy right there. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. Play action now, Prescott. This will be caught by Brown. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. Six yards the pick up, and that's a first down. Pollard going to try the right side. He'll get a yard, that's all, as they get him down at the 28. They go back to Pollard on second down. And for one of the first times all night, he is going to go nowhere as they bury him behind the line. They wind up losing a couple there, so they go behind the original line of scrimmage, and now third and 11 coming up. Here's Prescott. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free, and it brings up fourth down. Nice call by the defense there on third down. Just flood the field with extra defensive backs in their dime package. Nowhere to go with the football. Forces the incompletion. Now Prescott on fourth down. Open man land. It's complete. And he is going to have the Cowboys first down as that'll be a gain of 15 on fourth. Now Prescott. And his throw here is incomplete. Nice progress down the field was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again, or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. Prescott yet again. Tosses the out route here to Gallup. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. We have played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. So operating from Tennessee territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 47. Prescott from the gun. Man open, that's complete to Dalton Schultz. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Chewing up big yardage, another nice game there. This one goes for 20. On first and 10, Prescott. He'll find Lamb, that's complete. And they've got this down to about the 12-yard line. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down, stomped down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. To the air again, Prescott. And he'll go right back to Lamb. 
It'll go down as a gain of six, and that'll make it second down. Hey, kill, kill. Kill, kill. 47. Prescott. Left side to land. Touchdown, Cowboys! Dak Prescott with a connection to CeeDee Lamb. And the Cowboys have put this one to bed here in the fourth quarter. Prescott, they're going to throw for it. And this one's caught. And their fourth quarter lead grows by a couple more. The fades are tough because you need a perfectly placed pass. They got one there. That they did. Now I used to have a former partner I worked with who hated the fade pass. Where do you stand on? I do not like it because you, you're going into a corner. You don't have any room. What do you think? You're the analyst. I love it when they complete it. Then it's a hell of a Yeah, well, that's, that's not very good, see? Yeah, it really isn't. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. Cannon now elects to bring this out. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked out officially at the 21. Here we go, here we go. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, They've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively, and now it brings up third down. On third down, it's Willis. And for a third time tonight, he's intercepted. Picked up by Malik Hooker. And the Cowboys are going to take possession of the football. Certainly not what he was hoping for, Charles. That's now three interceptions in this ball game. But there's a lot of knowledge to be gleaned every time you throw an interception if you do things the right way. And hasn't there been a pretty darn good quarterback along the way who threw a lot of interceptions early, learned from them, and became great later? Who would that be? That'd be what Peyton Manning threw 28 his rookie year. That's the NFL record. Things turned out for him. I think okay. He's a guy in all the commercials now. <laughs> yeah, I think he's doing okay. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. And the scoreboard on their side, they're just looking to melt away these final couple of minutes and put this one in the left-hand column. Now a first and ten at the eleven. Gonna run again here with Pollard. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. On second down, it's Pollard. And he's going to ball his way down to about the one-yard line. Trying to run for it with Pollard. And he will take it in for a Cowboy score. Tony Pollard taking it in from a yard out. And the Cowboys take advantage of the short field and finish it off with a quick touchdown. They'll look to throw. And this is going to be caught. So add two more to the lead as they continue to pour it on here in the fourth. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. Cannon now elects to bring this out. Well, a dangerous return man showing it here. And he nearly broke that for more, but as it is, still a good return. They'll start the drive right around the 37. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And, Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every... And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. 
picked off by Anthony Barr. And the Cowboys are going to take possession of the football. Well, you just kind of feel for him right now. Four interceptions, and you can almost see through his face mask. There's a lot going on in between the ears. There certainly is, and probably way too much. Because now, he's probably doubting himself a little bit, wondering what adjustments he has to make. But here's what he needs to do. Get through this game. Go to the press conference, meet it head on, and show your teammates you're ready to shoulder what happened today, and you'll be ready for the next game. And if he can do that as a rookie, that's a great sign of maturity. And he'll take this one down to the 36. He'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. On play action to Elliott, here's Prescott. Able to hit his target land. And he'll be brought down at about the 23-yard line. The partner under the lights in prime time. This offense, they gave the nation quite a show, putting up that many points to come away with what will certainly be a memorable win for them. And Brandon, I think it's as simple as this. Some players, some teams, they're just meant for the big stage. And when they get a chance to play in this type of atmosphere, where all eyes are on them and all the lights are shining brightly, they show up and they show out.